Who? The train cost £197 million. It went through the river once, through six forests and two wetland conservation areas. No houses were destroyed. This is our design. The second railway cost £165 million and went through the river twice. It went through three trees and one wetland conservation area. We chose the second design because there was less damage to the environment, less supplies, which means there was less money needed. Hope, we hope you liked our design. Thank you very much. This train is called the FTR2. We made three, we made three tracks. One was reckless, one was careful, and one was not. The reckless track was 59.7 billion, the careful track was 27.9 billion, and the normal track was 39 billion. We had a vote and we chose the second one. We chose this because it wasn't reckless, it was it was efficient, and it wasn't. Can we start again? Just, just, just keep going. Can we start again? No, keep going. I forgot. That's fine, don't worry about it. You told me some fantastic words then, it's a good description. That's important, well done. You should use this train because it is good for the environment as it helps reduce the amount of pollution. It's rapid and fast and will get you to your destination 20 minutes earlier. Uh, me and Summer are the design team. We designed the decor of the train and the station. We designed the different sections for different groups, such as elderly, families and much more. I've shown you these pictures we've designed, it will show you. Thank you for listening to us and we hope you like our ideas. Have a nice day. For the first one, the positive things were that um, everyone could use it, especially the communities when it is quick, when it is a quick track and faster than the rest. And it is good for the elderly and the disabled because the tracks are bending wider. Um, the only problem with this one is it costs a lot and it goes through a lot of buildings. The second one um, uh, takes too long for the communities and it has um, too many curves for the disabled and elderly, uh, elderly and it was only, only suitable for the holiday makers. Holiday makers have a, have a comfy journey as children love looking out the window at the beautiful scenery and sights. Um, on the on the on, but on the second one, it was cheaper than the um, first one, with two hundred and four million. Um, the third one um, was good, for, worked for everyone, and was the cheapest overall. And the good thing about this one as well was it didn't go through any buildings either. Um, to, to we've we chose the third one since it worked the best and and. Um, didn't, as, this, as you said, um, didn't go through any buildings and to match our third one we have, we have chosen the um, we have chosen the this uh, railway station to match it has a kids area with a slide into a ball pit a, um, a easy check in to go into your train it has a lovely restaurant and um, a staff drinks, uh, which is very easy to access. Thank you for listening. <laughs> track one was the track that was the second most expensive, coming at a price of 235 million. Also in track one, we went over um, a river and through three trees. Example, the red is the track, the blue is the river and the green is the land. Track two. In track two, we went through many buildings and trees. This track cost a whopping 412 million. Track three. This track was the cheapest with a price of 218 million. For this track we avoided as many buildings and nature as possible, only going over the river a few times. 
Okay? Thank you very much. And this is our director that did all the drawing and writing. She was a big part in our Okay, yeah. thank you, mate. Um, our first track um, was a more careful one, and we tried to get to our, our objective with speed, but and we had to think about what we were building over the land. Um, altogether, it cost two hundred and thirty-one million pounds. Um, and however, it is believed that it was the most environmentally friendly. The second track was more of the reckless and destroyed a lot of the environment. Um, however, it came to one hundred seventy-four million pounds. Um, and the last, uh, we were trying to avoid as much um, uh, and like of the environment as possible and the houses and that came to a result of 280 pounds so we picked the first one as it was the cheapest and most successful. Our first initial idea was to create a bullet train after further discussion we decided we wanted to make a, a train that, that's fast and, get, and has the most capacity. The, the interior is suitable for all needs and diff difficulties. And while, while we ensure you, you will have a happy and safe journey, while, while we were doing this, we thought of the name of our company, FRT, the Fast Reliable Trains. First, we joined down ideas for the station. We had to think about benefits for all our passengers. Our final de decision was this. It has shops, fountains, and many more. It is not one to turn down. This, this is the FRT. Fast, reliable trains. Fantastic, Randall. We chose track two because we went for the cheapest option. But this came at cost. We had to go through historic buildings and wildlife reserves. This track cost £610 million. Our train offers free Wi-Fi, snack trays, charging port, wheelchair access, footrests and more. Our station offers restaurants and seating areas, children play areas, bars and a lot of cheap tickets and more. I hope you liked our presentation. Thank you. Thank you. We want you to build the bad We want you to build the bad train because we thought it would be the harder, harder than the good and okay train. We, ch we tried the bad train because we wanted to see if it was a high, higher price or a lower price than a, the regular train that we literally made before the bad one. It turns out this train was more expensive because it went over the lakes, houses and etc. When it crossed over the houses and lakes, we, we, we timed it by a certain amount depending on what we were crossing over. But the first trip train was the best to use because it was um, <coughs> it was cheap and it was less bumpy and it was a really nice ride. Our first track was the best because it was safer than the other. The second track was okay, but it was also a safe ride, but it cost more. It was really hard to add the pieces and times wherever we were crossing or going through. All of these trains have lots of features of the fantastic view of all the nature and perfect for young adults and kids. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Well done. Hello. Welcome. Today we have been testing out three railway tracks one train and two stations. So the first railway track came to the total of 299 million pounds. This may seem like a lot, but it doesn't compare to this. The second track was, was much more expensive. It was 2 billion, 2 billion, 40, 34 million and 600,000 pounds. But the third track, came to a total to 255 million pounds. This was the most, this was the cheapest. 
because we try not to go over late, we try not to go over the lakes as much as we did before. And then in the station, it, it may look like a steam train, our train, but it's actually electrical powered. This train includes three carriages, one for the elderly, one for the elderly which contains a false teeth holder and it also comes with one cup of free tea. It ha also has four disabled things and it, is, and it has a ramp. Okay. And in the station there is a pharmacy where you can order your medicine to pick up on your way. And there's also a subway for a quick for a quick meal before you go to work. And there's also charging stations if you want to do work on the train. And also in the second carriage on the train, it is for um, the holiday makers. This include this just includes two um, wheel wheelchair spaces, in because to keep your <coughs> your disabled family members with you. And it also has a ramp. But the third the third carriage, it includes the people for the workers. This is very quiet. It has charging stations, but no disabled wheelchair access. Thank you for watching. We chose track two because it was the cheapest, which, and it came to 140 million pounds. The only problem, it, the, the track two is here. We only crossed two rivers and we only destroyed three trees. And we only went over about a kilometre of the wetland. And now we're going to pass you over to Sophie. Um, we, uh, our plan was to do a holiday travels and work, a design plan. And in our train it has got a uh, space for luggage above the seats and it's even got seat warmers and even soft drinks and coffee for people who need to drink. So another of our team's tr train designs was a uh, old people's train and a disabled train. So um, you from the station you can attach a ramp to the door so um, people with wheelchairs can go onto the train and um, there's um, a door um, for people who don't have wheelchairs. They are false teeth holders and there are loads of foot space. Maybe if you've got aching feet, you can have quite a lot of foot space. There's a tea machine if you want some tea, because I know quite a few people like tea and that's another of our train designs. Finally, we have decided our train station. Our train station has two floors, the first one and the second floor. As you can see, we have cafes, toilets, lifts, shops, and three waiting rooms. Two waiting rooms are inside and one is outside. We have a sightseeing place where you can go and sightsee the environment and the countryside. And then we have a glass window where you can see the trains coming and going. I'd like to say a big thank you to the team. I'd like to say thank you to Olivia, Renisa, Sophie, Reese, Will, Cameron and Oliver because they've all helped us very much and even the people in our team who aren't on the stage here have helped a lot for us to present this and show our work. Thank you. We chose this design because it was friendly for the environment and only went over the river twice. Even though it's not expensive, it only knocked over three trees. It wasn't too curvy so it didn't slow our train down that much. We did not. We had no choice but to go over the wetland conservation area. We gave a rough design of um, a train station with um, where you would get comforted by some uh, an arcade machine and some food to drink. Our um, second design was a little more dangerous and destroyed many buildings in its path. Uh, but so it wasn't really eco-friendly. But it was a little cheaper. But we decided to go with the safer version. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.